Hi, uh, my name is Debayan Gupta. I'm a new assistant professor here in the Department of Computer Science at Ashoka. I'm really, really, really interested in the idea of secrets, of how people keep secrets and how people can work with secrets in the kind of world that we live in today, where everyone is always connected to everyone else and is sharing all their information all the time, I think this is immensely important. Uh, what I find really cool is that cryptography allows us certain new ways to deal with secrets that we did not have before. It is no longer necessary to share your secrets in order to compute on them. At the core, I think computer science is the study of processes. It's sort of the sister to mathematics. Mathematics looks at truths about the world and tries to find other truths. And we computer scientists try to figure out why and how to get from one truth to another. And I assure you, we have even less of an idea of what's going to exist 15 or 20 years from now. So if you want me to tell you about the challenges that are in my field, there is nothing but challenges. We're standing in the middle of an island and there's sea all around us. And we can create land wherever we walk. It's unlimited target selection. We are surrounded by knowledge right now. Personally, I'm a big fan of the liberal art style of instruction. Um, I think it is empirically provable that this is the best method of instruction we currently have. Um, the liberal arts is not content. It is a method of instruction. It says that just learning engineering is not enough. Every single one of your students must become a Renaissance man or woman. They must understand poetry and engineering. They must understand agriculture and physics. Um, then and only then do you have the requisite diversity of thought, that cross-pollination of ideas that occurs within your brain and within and among adjacent brains uh, that is required for research and progress. Other than this sort of core area of research, I'm very, very interested in privacy and surveillance technologies. Um, and I think those two ideas are intertwined. Uh, right now, I'm doing uh, some research into Wi-Fi based tracking, essentially turning Wi-Fi signals into a kind of radar. Uh, human bodies uh, reflect Wi-Fi signals very well. So it turns out it's possible to turn your router effectively into a kind of radar system, uh, which is very, very accurate. Um, I want to see if we can make it accurate enough so I can see your fingers moving, for example, or your uh, chest moving so I can measure things like your breathing rate and what password you're typing. And then I want to develop devices that can defeat this kind of surveillance. Um, on the other end, looking at the privacy sort of sphere, I think there's a lot of stuff we need to do uh, to just create a sort of philosophical boundary around the idea of privacy. Mm -hmm.